Next up, Sassel, which is an international integrated energy and chemical company operating in 37 countries. It has a market cap of 252 billion rand, a PE of 11 and a dividend yield of 3.25%. So we all know the yes. Sassel that turns coal into petrol yep, um, and oil. That's only part of yeah. the Sassel now. Now we've got Lake Charles, which is yes. a massive eleven billion dollar investment in well, the it south. Should, it should have only eight billion dollars. Yeah, three that's billion the over budget. That's the actual problem with mm. Lake Charles. Look, they went into it saying we can get really cheap input costs, feedstock into this thing. And at the time when they started building, there was a there was there was a shortage of 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 the output from the factory. Mm. So they built all these massive crackers, but it just the costs ballooned, weren't properly controlled. Uh, and, and they originally wanted to do the ethane cracker mm. and a gas to liquids plant, yes. which was converting all the gas available there to fuels, to like fuel. they've done successfully in the it's Middle East. Day, yeah, yeah. They've scanned that completely. Yeah. Oil price halved. Yeah. Um, Look, Maybe they'll revive that now because at, you know, at fifty-five dollars, you can probably make a decent return on it. But, when but it's not exactly 40, something you can just revive no, like the, no. uh, the frackers. And also, you know, and also this is big and capex. And also, they I think they're a bit gun shy there, or spending more capex now. I mean, their capex profile has been mm. massive. Mm. So, the future. I mean, yes. when you're looking at Sassel, big external factors out of their control the movements of the oil price the movements of the rand yes if you look at the share price you can see you know at a hundred dollars a barrel the rand at 14 they good times a fortune. yeah but the rand's actually been fairly stable to stronger mm. since then and the oil price has halved yeah look Sassel, i suppose is a conglomerate of businesses so we can maybe talk about Sassel in three areas the sin fuel operation which is basically the south african operation actually done quite well there they've mm -hmm. got decent volumes through the business but maybe more importantly they can break even at 30 dollars a barrel of oil assuming the rand doesn't strengthen too much so they've and i think they've cut that back from over 40. so they've actually done quite well in the sin fuel operation then they have base chemicals, I suppose you can call it that, which is mainly an international business. And there, I mean, it's tough, it's competitive. They, they effectively make commodity chemicals. There's no real massive part of their business that's truly unique. It's got its own particular niche. But that's not a bad, of the bad part of the business, despite, at the time, the same problems you're having with Lake Charles, over-expenditure, late they had, they had big difficulties with some of their overseas capacity things. And then you come to Lake Charles. Mm. And David Constable, who was the originator, the pioneer yes. of the Lake Charles deal, is now gone. Yes. So now they've got joint CEO with uh, Steve Cornell and Bungani um, Kwababa. Yeah. yeah. And it seems like Steve's obviously, he's a US, he's from uh, the, the States. So yeah. it feels like he's more involved in that side of the, the operations Charles, and yeah. Bungani's more on the local but look, side. Look, I mean, Lake Charles, you must understand, I think they've got it, not I think, they have got it under control now. Mm. They know the capex, they know the profile. And even though they overspent on capex, the, the one main reason for the business investment was the cheap input cost. That's still valid. Mm. The problem is it only pays, uh, you only start making money in 2020 or 2021. Now, I mean, they can make, I don't know, 30 rand, 40 rand earnings a share, you know, maybe call that 25, 30 rand in today's, but that's more or less what they're earning now mm. in total. And remember that they're funding this with rands yes. that they're making here. Yeah. So they used to be very uh, benefit from a weaker rand, mm. but now the weaker rand is they double hedged because yeah. they're spending dollars. Look, they've hot or not? Hot, on yes. You're yes. going to be hot. Yes. So you think the long-term future yeah. solid share price is pulled back enough? Yeah. You get the, the, the below 400. Yeah. I'm okay. hot on it. I'm going to disagree with you on that one. I'm afraid I'm a bit concerned about Sassel. Too many external factors out of their control.